So this question says data set A consists of 10 positive integers less than 60. The list shown gives nine of the integers, so nine of those 10 integers from data set A. So here are our nine integers. We know that there's one additional integer I'll call X, which would complete data set A. But for right now, we just have this first nine. The mean of these nine integers is 42. Okay, so what does that mean? That means if I were to add up all nine of these values, which I will do right now, why not? So 43 plus 45 plus 44 plus 43 plus 38 plus 39 plus 40 plus 46 plus 40. I'm getting 378 as the sum of those nine. So basically, if I if I um, translate the meaning of this first sentence here, it's saying that 378 divided by nine is equal to 42. Now, if the mean of data set A is an integer that is greater than 42, well, how do I find the mean of data set A? Well, the mean of data set A will be the 378 from the first nine values plus x from the missing 10th value. Now we're dividing by 10 because we have all 10 integers from data set A. And they we're being told that that must be greater than 42. And we're told that it's an integer, right? Which is important because that means it's not a decimal, okay? So that's important. Um, the question goes on to say, what is the value of the largest integer from data set A? Well, I can just simplify this inequality here by multiplying both sides by 10, and I'd have 378 plus x is greater than 420. And I want to get the greatest value that x can be and still have, still have x be, or still have the average be an integer. Now, how does the average remain an integer? Right, so again, the mean for data set A is 378 plus x over 10. So whatever x is, I need to make sure that this is this numerator will still be a multiple of 10. If I simplify what I have here, I'm getting x must be greater than Okay, x must be greater than 42. And so that's the minimum, 43 is like the minimum number it can be since it has to be integers. But if I were to place 43 here, I need something that, okay, so here's, I know what's going on. I have 378. I want my x value to, once added to 378, to be a multiple of 10. It means I need to have, this number here needs to be a 2. There really isn't any other option, right? I need to make sure that when I add these two numbers together, that I have a 0 at the end, and that's the only way that that's going to work out. So if I put 42 here, that should work. Um, I'm not sure that's going to be the biggest number, but that should give me a value. But also, if I put 52 here, that's larger. In fact, that's why I can't use 42 because x has to be greater than 42, not equal to 42. So how about 52? 52 should work. And then the, only no the next number that would work is 62. But if I remember in the original question, it said that it consists of 10 positive integers that are less than 60. So 52 has to be the number that works. So 8 plus 2 is 10, carry the 1, 12, 13, and 4, 30. And of course, because it ends with a 0, we're going to get, right, it is divisible by 10. So this will give us a value that is greater than 42 because this equals 43. So 52 has to be our answer here because it's greater than 42, it's less than 60, and it provides us with a, it provides us with a sum of all the data points from data set A that is a multiple of 10. That's very important. That's divisible by 10, I'm sorry. Same thing. Divisible or multiple of 10. So there's three criteria that have to work out, and that's what you have to kind of keep in balance. The less than 60 number, the greater than 42 value, and of course, there's only a few, there's only certain numbers between 42 and 60, but only one of them will also be a multiple of 10 once added to 378.